Hello friends, welcome to Mind Your Math YouTube channel. This is your Kona Kiran Reddy. Today let us do the problems 2 and 3 from exercise 8.3. This is of chapter 8. There is comparing quantities of 8th class in CRT textbook. First of all, my sincere thanks to all of you for watching my videos and sharing my content. After watching this video, if you like my explanation, please like, share, comment and before that, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let us quickly go through the problems. So problem number 2. Kamala borrowed Rs 26,400 from a bank to buy a scooter at a rate of 15% per annum, compounded yearly. What amount will she pay at the end of 2 years and 4 months to clear the loan? To work out this problem, what we do is, let us first find out the amount she has to pay at the end of 2 years by using compound interest formula. And then by taking that amount as the principal amount, let us find out the interest to be paid for the remaining 4 months by using simple interest formula. The principal amount P equal to how much rupees 26,400. Interest rate R equal to how much 15% per annum. Let us take the time that is 2 years that is N equal to 2 years. Why? Because compounded yearly and we have 2 years. So N equal to 2. Now therefore A equal to that is the total amount to be paid after 2 years. A equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. This is equal to P is 26,400 into 1 plus R is 15. So 15 divided by 100 whole to the power of N. N is 2. So this is equal to 26,400 into we can cancel 15 by 100. Let us cancel with 5. So 5 times 3. This is 5 times 20. So this will be equal to 1 plus 3 by 20 means 20 into 1, 20 plus 3, 23. So 23 by 20 whole square. That is equal to 26,400 into 23 by 20 into again 23 by 20. 0 and 0 gets cancelled and this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled. Let us cross out 2 times 1. This is 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 2 times 2. Now again, this is 2 times 1. This is 2 times 6 is 12. 1 will be there, 12. So 2 times 6 is 12 again. So this will be equal to 66 into 23 into 23. If you multiply all these, we will get 34,914. This is the amount to be paid after 2 years. We need to take this as the principal amount for the next 4 months. So now the principal amount is 34,914 time t or time n equal to 4 months which is equal to 4 by 12 years. So that means 4 times 1 and this is 4 times 3. So this is equal to 1 by 3 years. So therefore simple interest equal to the formula is P R N divided by 100. That is equal to P is the principal amount. New principal amount is 34,914 times R is 15 into N is 1 by 3 divided by 100. So here 3 times 1 and this is 3 times 5. This is equal to 34,914 into 5 divided by 100. Let us calculate the numerator. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2, 7. 5 times 9 is 45. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4, 24. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2, 17. Divided by 100. So this will be equal to 1745.70 rupees. This is the simple interest. So the amount to be paid to clear the loan is therefore total amount equal to at the end of 
2 years that is the amount 34,914 then plus for the remaining 4 months the simple interest is rupees 1745.70 let us add these two 34,914 then 1745.70 so this is 0 0.70 then this is 9, this is 5, this is 16, 6, 3. So the answer is equal to rupees 36,659.70. This is the amount to be paid by Kamala to clear the loan. Okay, that is the final answer. Let us go to the next question. Third problem. Fabina borrows rupees 12,500 at 12% per annum for 3 years at a simple interest and Radha borrows the same amount for the same time period at 10% per annum compounded annually. Who pays more interest and by how much? Here two people Fabina and Radha both borrowed some money from some bank. Fabina borrowed for simple interest whereas Radha borrowed for compound interest. In both the cases, let us calculate the interest, how much Fabina and Radha, they have to pay. Right, let us take the first case, that is Fabina. Principal amount is P equal to rupees 12,500, rate R equal to 12%, and then time N equal to, that is 3 years. So therefore, simple interest I equal to, why because Fabina borrowed for simple interest. So I equal to PRN divided by 100. So this is equal to 12,500 into 12 into 3 divided by 100. So two zeros and two zeros will be cancelled. This is equal to 125 into 12 into 3. First, let us multiply these two. 125 into 3 that is 3 times 5 is 15 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 7 3 times 1 is 3 so times 12 this is equal to 12 times 5 is 60 12 times 7 84 plus 6 90 12 times 3 36 plus 9 45 so this is the simple interest to be paid by Fabina now let us calculate for Radha, be sure Radha borrowed the amount for compound interest. So let us take Radha. In the case of Radha, principal amount P equal to how much? Same amount that is rupees 12,500. Interest is R equal to 10% and N equal to how much? That is 3. Now let us calculate the compound interest. Compound interest equal to total amount A minus principal amount P. Total amount A equal to, we know that the formula P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N, then minus P. So that is equal to, P is rupees 12,500 into 1 plus R is 10, so 10 by 100 whole to the power of N means 3 minus P is 12,500. So here 0 and 0 gets cancelled. This is equal to 12,500 into, this is 10 into 1, 10 plus 1, 11. So 11 by 10 whole cube minus 12,500. This is equal to, we can take common 12,500. So 12,500, let us take this as common. Now within the brackets we will get 11 by 10 whole cube minus 1. This is equal to 12,500 into 11 by 10 whole cube means 11 cube is 1,331. 11 into 11 into 11 we will get 1,331. Divided by 10 cube means 10 times 10 times 10 that is 1,000 then minus 1. This is equal to 12,500 into 1,331 then minus 1000 into 1 we will get 1000 divided by 1000. This is equal to 12500 into 
the numerator is 1331 minus 1000 means 331 divided by 1000. Here two zeros and two zeros will be cancelled. You can cancel 5 times 2. This is 5 times 2 and then 5 times 5. So that is equal to 25 into 331 divided by 2. So if we calculate this one, we will get 4137.50. So this is equal to rupees 4137.5. This is the compound interest to be paid by Radha. Now if we compare the two interests, Febina, she has to pay 4500, whereas Radha has to pay 4137.5. If you compare these two, 4500 is greater than 4137.5. So, Febina has to pay more interests. Then, by how much? By how much means let us subtract. 4500 subtract 4137.5 from this 4500. So, put point here 0. 0 minus 5 is 5. Then here 9 will be there, 9 minus 7, let us put point here, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 3 is 6, 4 will be there, 4 minus 1 means 3. Therefore, Febina has to pay rupees 362.5 more than Radha. Right, so that is the final answer. Okay, hope you understand the problem, hope you understand my explanation. If you like my explanation, please subscribe my channel.